subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Certified Fraud Examiner. So let's get started. Question number 1. In Cressy's Fraud Triangle, its three of the legs are Opportunity, Pressure and Your options are A. Violation B. Isolation C. Rationalization D. None of the above The correct answer is, option C. Question number 2. Which of the following offender types in which people who take the money and run away? Your options are A. Absconders B. Long-term violators C. Offender types D. None of the above The correct answer is, option A. Question number 3. When situational pressures and perceived opportunities are low and personal integrity is high, occupational fraud is much more likely to occur than when the opposite is true. Your options are A. True B. False The correct answer is, option B. Question number 4. In fraud scale pressure Opportunity and integrity variables all results in a list of dash possible red flags, or indicators of occupational fraud and abuse. Your options are A. 81 B. 82 C. 83 D. 84 The correct answer is, option B. Question number 5. Dash can be defined as conduct detrimental to the organization and to the employee. Your options are A. Employee deviance B. Employee theft C. Employee fraud D. All of the above The correct answer is, option A. Question number 6. Perceived certainty of detection is directly related to employee theft for respondents in all industry sectors. That is the stronger the perception that theft would be detected, the more the likelihood that the employee would engage in deviant behavior. Your options are A. True B. False The correct answer is, option B. Question number 7, according to a survey, in principal perpetrator, Males in a majority of cases, accounting for dash percent of frauds versus dash percent, in which a female was the primary culprit. Your options are A. 62 versus 36 B. 61 versus 39 C. 62 versus 37 D. None of the above The correct answer is, option B. Question number 8. The principal way to detect omitted credits from books of account is through. Your options are A. Forced balance B. Trend analysis C. Expense account D. None of all The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9. People commit financial statement fraud too. Your options are a. Conceal false business performances B. Preserve personal status or control C. Maintain personal income D. Stand outside the accounting system The correct answer is, option B. Question number 10. Which of the following is not the reason why senior management will overstate business statement? Your options are A. Comply with debit covenants B. Meet personal performance criteria C. Trigger performance related compensation D. Show a pattern of growth to support sale of a business The correct answer is, option A. Question number 11. The act of an official or fiduciary person who unlawfully and wrongfully uses his station or character to procure some benefit, contrary to duty and rights of others is called. Your options are a. Conflict of interest B. Corruption C. Bribery D. Overbilling 
The correct answer is, option B. Question number 12, which of the following are the classifications for the corruption? Your options are, A. Bribery, economic extortion, illegal gratuities and conflicts of interest. B. Corruption, bribery, economic extortion, conflicts of interest. C. Overbilling, bribery, bid rigging and illegal gratuities. D. Economic extortion, bribery, illegal gratuities and corruption. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 13, dash may be defined as the offering, giving, receiving or soliciting anything of value to influence an official act. Your options are, A. Corruption, B. Diverting business to vendors, C. Bribery, D. Lacking approval authority. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 14, which of the following can constitute a bribe, even if the illicit payment is never actually made? Your options are, A. Offering a payment, B. Corruption in payment, C. Kickback payment, D. Overbilling in payment. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 15, the most common method of detection in corruption cases is, your options are A. Internal audits B. Internal controls C. Tips D. By accident The correct answer is, option C. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.